Sri Mati is overwhelmed by feelings of love for Krishna. She sees Krishna inside and outside of her. Shyama Sundara is admiring her sweet form unhindered from the top of the Kadamba tree. <coughs> the maid servant starts to massage Srimati's beautiful body in this quiet and lonely bathing place near the Yamuna. First, she opens her braid that looks like a huge black cloud. Sprinkles her hair with fragrant oil and then comes it with a jeweled scum. Each of Swamini's hairs is dearer to her than millions of lives. After coming, Swamini's hair, the loving maidservant undresses her to massage her with fragrant Narayana oil. She reveals Swamini's body which is not even seen by omniscient Shyama, <coughs> who, for this purpose, has to climb into the top of a Kadamba tree. <coughs> <coughs> The maidservant knows how to touch of how the touch of Shyama's hand feels. And she massages Swamini in exactly the same way. Swamini is absorbed. After the oil massage, the maidservant starts to massage Swamini with lotus pollen, while Shyama is absorbed in staring at the sweetness of her uncovered limbs from the branch of the tree. <laughs> It is as if a stream of sweetness gushes from Swamini's sweet limbs. How amazing is the abundance of her beauty. Her limbs are as if made of nectar, <coughs> which is freely drunk by Shyama with the cups of his eyes. <coughs> May I admire the softness of your golden limbs the sweetness of your smile, the largeness of your eyes, and the volume of your breasts. This is how he experiences her sweetness. <laughs> Her 
Her body shines like millions of lightning strikes. And her beautiful face is full of blazing, ever increasing bliss. Krishna relishes all this nectar through his eyes. This is not heavenly nectar. It is the supreme nectar of Mahabharata. Radhika's body is the very life of Cupid, Ananga Jivam. She revives the transcendental in corporal Cupid Krishna and gives him a body again. She revives the transcendental incorporal Cupid Krishna and gives him a body again. She has faith, no? And she revives him. What? Is that the state of Cupid. Was uh, Cupid without the body. Ah. And then she revives <coughs> and gives him a body again. <laughs> the transcendental incorporal Cupid. So we will have to explain this one. She divides the transcendental incorporal accompanying Sri Krishna and gives him a body. But he is a Brahma. He is a Paramat. This part is not part. But he is the real Kupi. So by her love, she made the desire to come in his divine form. So this is the meaning. For me, to give them like, like a Brahma, he uh, does not have a body. Brahma means no body. No. No form. No form. No form. No, form. no, form. no desire. No desire. Paramatma. Paramatma. Paramatma has, may have body, but uh, he cannot enjoy like uh, Paramatma has no specific form. Specific form. He takes the form as per. <coughs> he wants Bhavan and this, that. He takes form differently. Hmm. I don't know. Big form I am working with. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> but I don't know who is going to appear, Narsinga. <coughs> when he appears, then he says Narsinga. Yeah. He takes the form according to the desires of the body. Yes, Radhika's desires. Sweetness, lovingness, naughtiness. Lying, all cheatingness. This is all desire created him by Radhika. This was also my meditation when I listen to Maharani now, because it is a hiding place. Nobody knows this place. How can he know that she will go there? 
There must be some arrangement before, right? Otherwise, you don't know. And who can do this? So, it is Swamini's desire that he get this to make him happy by the showing of her beautiful body. But in a hiding place where no one else is there, even no Sakis, nobody, only one knows who, where, where this will be. And this is the Manjari. She alone knows where this lonely place is, where the meeting, where the, the time is when they will be there. So we can consider here that Krishna got some information by the maid servant, not by Radhika herself. Parents, ah. So there is the force. Person who knows. going out to You go and wait for it. This is also Parvati is a messenger, is a manjari. Sukha. Ah. Right. Mm. This means he has a form of Manjari? Sukha, that's my Manjari. I don't understand. Yeah. Manjari is Manjari. 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 Let's go. Who brings the masses of here and there? Sukha and Sarika, they talk. Yeah, but they are bad, you know? But they are talking the change of their mouth. They are the uh, uh, of huh? Like manjari. Yeah. What? Like? Yeah, soup and sari. They are like a manjari, but they are in heaven. All, all the pastime is there. We can look at the... All the exchange of thoughts are the other side. So, messenger means sometimes manjari, sometimes like a parent, sometimes a shiva, sarika, etc. No, no, no. Hmm? All are one. Dasi of Rari. Yes, everyone dasi. No, but he is not a parrot form. You can fly to any place. Yeah. They are sukhsarika, not <coughs> like a parrot. They are dasi of Rari. They are divine. Yes, sure, divine. But no see like a parrot. They, they talk so private and personal things. The talk of Sukh and Sarika is this. Wow! Very intimate things they see and they are... Intimate, how anyone can talk? And they are... Vedas cannot talk. No. Only the uh, Radhika Dasi can talk. Uh not seen like anything material is. They are divine connection. What Vedas are telling, they are in gunas. They are in gunas. By reading them, we are living in gunas. This is our three guna. No affected with any guna. Nirguna is also Maya word. Guna atit in Hindi. Guna atit. Out of guna. Right? 
अतीत में बियॉन्ड दैट गुना स्कैनर the gunas cannot touch the means radhika's body they are emitting is all guna ati we cannot understand living in the this place is only for very rare persons not the, the demigods or some gods can enter this like brahma shiva or vishnu they cannot go there that means the gunas cannot stay there they are all living in the gunas Yeah. Somebody is in Tamaguna, somebody is in Sattaguna, somebody is in Practicing devotee try to give up Cupid lust from the beginning of their spiritual lives. Mm-hmm. It is on the line. It's all the whole chapter, whole paragraph. Because this is their pastime. You cannot remember life. So you can't remember. Now what to understand this is here? Because lust is the root cause of all selfish endeavors for sense gratification. Without pure love, this cannot be accomplished. Cupid is revived when she Krishna who is himself the transcendental youth Cupid of Vrindavan when chants the mundane Cupid sees Sri Radha's body that is made of pure causeless love yeah. thus the incorporal cupid regains his body and Sri Radha's body is named Ananga Jivam the life of cupid <laughs> In Vrindavan, there is no mundane Cupid, <coughs> only the transcendental Cupid Sriman Madan Gopal, the shelter of all material and spiritual Cupids. <laughs> When Lord Brahma prayed to Krishna in his Raj Leela, he said, We eleven gods of the senses relish your sweetness through the senses of the people of Raj. 
And in this way, we are also blessed. Although the material gods cannot possibly reside in the senses of the transcendental eternal associates of Sri Krishna in Raj, Lord Brahma simply gives a likeness. In the same way, although the mundane Cupid cannot live in Vrindavan, this metaphor with Sri Krishna's lusty feelings that arouse, arouse, arouse when he sees Sri Rava's limbs has been given and her divine body has been called Ananga Chivam. Her body is the love. That is not only one to be where the love is. <laughs> that is the life. This cupid, this spiritual cupid, is only searching divine love. And that is this. <coughs> And this is my study. My life is love. Love is God. God is love. So you cannot be my Love goes with the God. Ananga Jivana, the life of divine Cupid is love. Madhanakya Mahabhav. He is a Cupid, he has no form. He took the form. As per the desire of love, how does Alladani want to relish that he made the form, give that happiness to love? It's so divine, you can see that. We cannot see from the material eye. Why that human form that may be human, some human, will realize and understand. Maybe easy to understand to the because they understand the language, words, feelings, relations. And way of living a style. So relation is important. <laughs> if we want to see spiritualize 
Abhi Deha is important. We want to be in that loving exchange. Then we have to pariyojan. So our acharyas, the Swami say that this is the only three things we have to practice. Sambandha. You make yourself separate to your body to create your rupa. Spiritual. Everything will become spiritual. Without wow. your sarup, you will never create. You will always act and see the things from the body reality. Then we could send, sing that because of Swamini's desires, Cupid. When you come to your sarupa way, you cannot live without religion. You cannot live without the <coughs> same association. You will die. Because they are not in the physical identity. They cannot live without relation. They cannot live without pariyojan, means something without doing. With the life. How we can see it either? What to do? How to last? How to make circumstances that all become happy. So create the happiness that other will be happy. This intelligence from where comes? It's our it's a Monday. Immediately she inspired you to do this. All become terrible. I understand that Srimati Radhika and also Mohan, they take on the forms according to their different desires to make each other happy. Swamini takes all the forms and qualities for him and he takes all the forms and qualities for him. And that is uh, unlimited. And when we get the mercy of Swami, then also even this, we have the meditation on our spiritual form, but it's also no, unlimited. No, no, yeah. How I can be relate without form to her? If she gives form, and I know I said, Means I don't want to remove that. She gave me mercy, she marked me mercy, and we are not acceptable. We think it's a very valuable thing I have to keep in lock of I don't want that. It's not time for me. Thank you.
cannot say you have to I want to you even that. As my believer now says, as you that Narayan Maharaj said, it depends upon the previous sanskara. If the previous sanskara is there, it takes. Sanskara means if the good karma is not in the previous Sanskara is there. I understand immediately. This is to be. Relation to me. Relation making is very tough. To make the relation, you have to talk very carefully. When the ego is <laughs> ego is not Prema cannot enter, there is no place. And Prema will not come. Yes, I know because my day is then how I will take that care of my family. It's all com- organi- but, um, comfort is there, but I'm waiting. Narayana Maharaj said, in need is not. Need is. To be a need is only. Krishna can only be glorious as the transcendental useful cupid of Vrindavan because of Sri Radha's sweetness and beauty. Uh, otherwise his glories are totally baffled. <laughs> Govinda Lilambrita states, when Krishna shines with Radha, he enchants even Cupid. 
but otherwise he himself is enchanted by Cupid. Without Arthur. He mounts the chariots of the Gopis' minds and steers the mind of Cupid. Therefore, he bears the name Madana Mohan. <laughs> So we cannot speak about Cupid yeah, when Krishna is without Radhika. Then he has no body. This is what is described here. No? He is actually is not exist as Cupid when Radhika is not there. No. Wow. But Sri Radhika steers even his mind, and therefore she is called <laughs> Madame Mohan Mohini, and her body is called Ananga Chivam. Cupid's life giver. That's why Kama Gaita is for both meditation on Radha and Mohan. It's both. Just as a dying person is revived by drinking nectar, similarly. Similarly, Krishna is revived by contacting Radha's divine body when he is about to die in the fire of lust. <laughs> Suddenly, the maid servant sees Shyama Sundara sitting in the branch of the tree. With folded hands, Krishna prays to her. Let me enjoy this vision for a moment. <laughs> Seeing the situation, the maid servant is absorbed in rasa. End of verse becomes controlled by Cupid when Radhika is not there, right? And when Radhika is there, he can defeat Cupid, even Cupid. When Krishna shines with Radha, he enchants even Cupid. But otherwise, he himself is enchanted. Enchanted, right? It's 
Krishna's when Krishna is close to Swamini, he takes on also all of her qualities. And these qualities and this speciality of her one-pointed love makes him also be able to overcome influence of truth. Is that so good? When Krishna comes together with Swamini, he becomes one pointed in this love because she is one pointed. And that makes him more than Cupid. He can overcome Cupid because now he is also one pointed in his love. Then Radha Charanda says that otherwise he is Sanchari. Yesterday, I have read one interesting <coughs> story from Mananda Sama. Uh, Lakshmiji, Lakshmi. the consort of Narayan, uh, she's called uh, Chanchala. Chanchala. Chanchala, go to everywhere, you know, ah, place to another place. Uh -huh. Come and go. Come and go. Yeah. But the radical nature is not like this. No. Radical nature is very sweet, uh, one point. Uh, so, Sniti did this say, uh, you know, radical is one pointness and uh, sweetness and uh, you know, softness. Could attract, you know, and uh, moha. But, uh, you know, if someone worship Lakshmi or Naraya, we cannot be one point. Only worship Radhika, <coughs> and then we become one point. Yeah. Stai. I like this point, but more different before that when we become in relationship in Tushumatiradika and she giving us her, her, her Dasi's form and giving all her love to let us enter, then we cannot live without this relationship. And we always want to be in like minded association. <laughs> to drive my relationship with Swami. Whereas on the material platform, often we become afraid of relationships. We try to avoid relationships because these relationships, they seem to be uh, complicated and, and uh, confusing. But when we are in relation to Shrimati Radhika, then we can see all relationships in her service. And then they become service, and they become uplifting, and not degrading or confusing. So we see that sometimes as devotee in our whole lifetimes, yes, we like to withdraw, we like to go in meditation, but as a Radha Das sees, we become open and we become soft-hearted and we forget about the fear of relationships and the fear of loving relationships. That I find so touching this morning. Mm. And to revive the spiritual body. What is Maharani reading? That Cupid revives his his body. Before there was no body, no? right? And by her arrangement, he revives his cupid body. And so we can also think about our spiritual body by reviving this. As Manjari.
Awali Atmana Reviving It's, uh, it's, we are singing in Mangalare, it's called Mangalare. Until Shimatradika is sleeping, Jiva is sleeping. Then Shimatradika walks, Nishantalila. Or Jiva walks. Rasa walks, Loudly till then, we can listen. It's written by Pragyam Keshuga Sami, Maharaj in Mangalare. Until Shimati Radhika is sleeping, like Nisha, Leo, she's sleeping, Jiva is sleeping, like then she awokes, Nishanta, end of night, then Jiva is awoke. For service. Oh, Swarup is awaiting. Yes, yes. Yes, that's what I hope to start with that. Because just uh, Gaur Sundra told, Shimati Radhika Samantini is that she is uh, provoking Krishna to reveal his good form at yeah. the same time she is provoking Jiva's reveal the Swaru being Swaru yeah, because for they Lila they need it yeah so she revives our form she is the she revives Krishna form he is <laughs> but you doubtful then who will revive or give to me? When she revived Krishna and we have not understand this is our problem. Bhagavad Gita say Krishna cannot understand himself without her energy. Understand what is meaning of energy. Our power. How Krishna will understand without his power? <laughs> very simple. <laughs> if I have no energy, how I will understand myself? How I will walk? What I will do? But we don't want to accept energy. Krishna is energy. That is our mistake. Who is energy? Of Shiva, Shakti. Why Shakti is there? Creation energy. What is the creation energy? Your knowledge, Vidya. If you have no education, what you will create? You cannot create anything without knowledge, without education. If you want to destroy something, how you will destroy without energy? Krishna, when Krishna, how understand himself without that? And Krishna, is the energy job that he took the form like this. So he, he is the, she is the man. <laughs> she, because of her, everything happens. Which book I see, she is the man. She is the man. By her love alone, we were living, no? But our condition is so heavy, material, that we don't want to live from the Krishna's Maya Shakti. This is our condition. This is the Maya Shakti. What about your Maya Shakti? If you surrender to Krishna means you can surrender to my Shakti. Okay, my dear. Thanks for this. Can he accept? False ego is a Maya Shakti. Maha Maya Shakti.
diese Christen haben Mauer gesagt. And I want to hold this Mahamaya Sakti. I don't want to surrender. Understand? Oh, I know. I am very happy with this. Can we fan, uh, turn off AC? You want that I grow, stop it? Because too, it is too hot. Yeah, I, this place is very cold then. For him? Oh, yeah. No you, you, you stand and for the fan. Why do you become too hot? Yeah, yeah. 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 maybe this would be good. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. Then I see that he is in suffering, so I have to go. I find When you are related, then you have to see it. What to do? So when, when they are giving these uh, forms to each other through their love, and they, like you said also, they take form, and then again when they come together... Form, feeling, yeah. behavior, sweetness, naughtiness, color, all direction. This is all... the inner energy world. Like outer energy work, we do. Inner energy is more powerful. When we are in outer energy, we cannot understand what inner energy is. So it's difficult to inner, go inside. Without surrendering, <laughs> outer energy, surrendering outer, we cannot think to go in. Outside be outside he is there, inside he is there. Outside is creation side, inside is personal side. Right? right? In the personal, your inside is your personal side. Hmm. And outside is his creation side. He has to make this. He needs the person. So he is also happy when somebody wants to be outside. <laughs> What's the problem? It's gone. become Brahma. <laughs> it's a thing for Brahma. You see? Shiva is alone. But Bhasma Sur also want to become Shiva. Who? Bhasma Sur. Ah. Bhasma Sur. Yeah. And also want to become Shiva, Kansa, Ramana. You want to be a god. Right? They have also their place.
Taking center of Radhika, <coughs> all will become Krishna to the end. This is the But if when you realize this, The day I got the mantra, yeah. my whole life changed like this. I was different person and after taking initiation, I was different. Initiation. Gurudev say, I initiate you when you are five years old. But that's your young age, so I never come to you. But now time, I have to go and I have to start. So I come again to revive that. Revive that. And he initiated me and he said, oh. I got the darshan of Radha Mohan that day. Before I was never staying in the time. I come to Vrindavan, I go to all temples, we are here, there, there, outside. From that day I never want to go at the other place. My mind changed in the service. And it never decreased. Sometimes slow, sometimes fast. Sometimes slow, sometimes. By chance, I have a god brother also, very healthy. I got the association of Binod Baba when I was 25, 26. All we are same age. Mohan Baba, I am Vinod. And both are singer. Hmm? Both are singer. Mohan Baba and Vinod. You are listening. Shripa. He sing Mahamantra all the past time in Leela. I, I feel it. Both. So power. They start every time after nine. Up to eleven. Then we eat some prasad. These are all fortune from So Vinod Baba was also living here in Vrindavan first. But, but all time person. 
sometimes you go visit. I go for one month, 15 days, 20 days. Do more on Baba Ashram. Yeah, yeah. Mohan Baba was also in Russia. Yeah, it's all good. Heart like a mud heart. I want to be there. That was the time when he was chanting only Kamagaj. Yeah. He was very open to And he respect me, that's the point. Open and respect, like he has brother, like his guru to me. He has so much respect. Without I know it, he has, he has so much love. Is Balaam and this is all Mohan Baba is after. Yes, Baba is my God. How much? Brother can give respect. Unfortunately, in this material world, we not No. What happened? No. Verse is finished. Twenty-four verses over. We can start and look. No. But that was also very deep this morning. Very deep. We have to digest. 